Hi, welcome to this week's vlog. It's your girl, Joy. Energy for days. I am rendering the video that you guys watched before this. This is the most annoying part about shooting vlogs. It takes so long. Anyways, so we're starting our weekly vlog today. I have a few meetings all week, blah, blah, blah. Today, I'm gonna go get my, sorry, I didn't even realize I was completely out of focus. Today, I'm gonna go get my hair done. Very excited. And then I'm meeting some friends for lunch. Okay. I need to finish packing. Where's my Uber? Hi! I'm so sorry. I have to get booty. So I'm here. This is the girl. The magician. <laughs> the scientist. Hey guys. Behind like a good lay of the majorities. So she's installing this wig. So remember my purple hair, the purple wig, this picture right here. So this is it. We wanted to do something different, but she decided to go for more of a subtle look to just give the hair time to breathe after the processing from the last time. So, oh, and also that's another Yonsei. Look at her Yonsei right there. So she's one who does the custom wigs. She does like an amazing, amazing job. How old are you again? 24. Just turned. Into. And she's 24. So, <laughs> as old people, it's okay. <laughs> we just hire the youths. Um, anyway, so she does custom wigs, uh, basically making them from scratch, installing them. Yeah. She can make them, like you can put them like on somebody's head for up to a month, right? Yeah, so if, if they want the installation, mm -hmm. you put it on for like a month, month and a half, depending on the person, how much you sweat, mm -hmm. how much you work out or not. If it's glueless, then yeah, there's also an option for glueless. Yeah. Um, the blonde one that you guys saw in the last vlog that actually I need to upload right now. Uh, that one is a glueless wig and she made it so that I can install it with um, the Gots to Be sprays and she has them here. I already mentioned that in the last vlog. But if I just want to be able to just do like a really slick updo, I can just spray it on real quick with the Gots to Be sprays. Um, if I don't want to, I don't have to. Uh, she does a really good job. So information again down below check her out and then we'll see um, What this looks like after we're not gonna show the process. I'm sorry There's magic yeah, behind it. A lot of y'all out there trying to steal my vibe, and we can't have that Yeah, I mean if you want to learn just google it if you're a hairstylist learn yourself She taught herself. She didn't go to school. You learned mm -hmm. off the University of YouTube, right? Yep Figure it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut now and then we're gonna come back to Madrid's Sorry, quick disclaimer, if you're coming to install your hair, see you just come without makeup. Am I right though? Please come without makeup. Because she has to Please. clean this entire area. So everything's pretty much going to come off anyways, so just come without. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just, I'm letting you know so you don't hurt your own feelings when she like <laughs> scrapes off half your forehead and then you feel like, oh no, I left my foundation at home, how can I fix it? You can't. So first half is done. I feel like a mom. So we've just finished the installation of the hair. This, like I mentioned, was my purple wig from before, so we just changed it up into this unicorn. Uh, so wait, shoot the back, shoot the back. Show the people what we got. That's what we got. Hey. Hey. Who am I? Hey. Oh hey. Yes. Call me <laughs> Where is the list? <laughs> Anyways, so yes, I'll put all her information down below. Highly recommend. day oh no straight now don't embarrass me in front of my friends okay hi it is the next day um the curls are gone i should have just shot yesterday when the hair was fresh i don't know what i was i don't i don't know why i thought i'd be able to maintain it because i don't know what to do with hair anymore 
I'm still used to being a little baldy. Um, but it is what it is. So today it is a shoot day for me. I am absolutely exhausted. I am tired, tired, tired AF. Um, I've already taken a shower. I just need to like do my face and then shoot. I don't even know how I'm go uh, I don't know, I'm struggling. And I'm also so hungry. Man, the last vlog, like I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat so much. Like if I've ever been curious, like why are you not skinny? That's why I eat constantly. I'm like a cow, just constantly grazing, just. Anyways, so yes, today is, is a shoot day for me. Let me also give you guys a little style haul, I guess, for a few pieces or a few new pieces that I have. Okay, so here is the skirt. This is from Achera. I absolutely love it. So this skirt with Achera. Something that you guys need to know about me is I alter a lot of stuff that I get. Not alter permanently, I just alter them for specific looks. So, for instance, this skirt, considering how long it is and everything like that, um, if I wore it like this, I'd probably just wear it with like a crop top, something fun, something short, like, like t-shirt wise or something sheer. Or I'd wear it like this for a meeting where I can't be showing too much skin and stuff like that. But let's say I'm going to a brunch with my girls and I set to it with this tee, which I really, really love with the skirt. I want to show a little bit more skin. So what I usually do is I create my own side slit. So for example, you see this flap? I would literally just fold it in like that. Probably put a safety pin just as a reminder, probably in this point here. And then I take this little flap and just fold it in a little bit, ever so slightly. Like that. And I just take my sewing kit, put a little bit of a knot here, a knot here, knot there. Same thing here, and then iron it flat. And then you honestly can't tell the difference. And then when I'm ready to look like a whitey again, whoopa! You know what I'm saying? So that's what I usually do with a lot of stuff that um, I own. I like to just give pieces as much wear as possible and get as many different looks and different vibes from them. Cool? But yes. Love the skirt. The print is a vibe. Next thing I really want to show you guys, these are t-shirts from Mama Rocks. Mama Rocks! They have the best burgers in town. I don't care what you say, they have the best burgers in town. Like, they have the best burgers in Narofi. Narofi, they have the best burgers. I'm just saying, at least in my opinion, the best freaking burgers. I feel like I've said that enough. Okay, now let's move on. Um, they have a collection of t-shirts, graphic tees. Everybody needs to have a graphic tee. I'm just saying, just generally in your closet, when it comes to fashion and style, you need to have at least one basic graphic tee, whether it's black, gray, or white. You just have to have one. So, um, they have a bunch of t-shirts. This is one of them. African and Dope. AF. Um, this is another one. African and Dope. In black. With white. Um, Afro. With a hair pick. A comb. Whatever you want to call it. Ow. All black and proud. All that jazz. And this one. This is... Mamaology, psychology. Now let me tell you why you should buy these t-shirts. Outside of just, you just need one in your closet. Just, duh. Um, with each t-shirt that they sell, they're going to be giving proceeds to an amazing organization. And the organization is Wings of Compassion Rescue Center. Now this home is a home for vulnerable girls who have been forced into the streets due to pregnancy. And a lot of these girls have also been victims of incest, have also been victims of rape. And the money that is being donated is gonna go to the education. Education is power. And I love that so much. And I think as women, we need to stick together. We need to help each other out. We need to do what we can for our younger versions for our young girls out there we just need to do what we can so just simply buying a t-shirt if you buy one t-shirt 300 shillings will go straight to that organization and it's going to do amazing amazing things so 
please do that i'll put the information down below um and these again are from mama rocks let's do what we can buy a t-shirt um and help out a young girl out there who's gone through way too much at a very young age so um i'm now gonna start my day i need to beat this face uh, i have multiple shoots i need to do makeup picks i need to do outfit picks and i have to organize myself i don't know how i'm doing this and in which order so let me first um you know make this face more pleasing to the eye if you know what i am saying okay face done i've just shot outside it is so hot today it is hot like fire let me just show you the outfit that I actually shot it's the skirt and the t-shirt that i showed you earlier but the full look so i actually made the slit i literally just stitched once here and once here like you see i stitched there and stitched here like right there that's it and it stays because i love this fabric because it's nice and thick that's why i love a chair so much like they make their skirts or like just basically all their clothes like with such good material it's nice and stiff and all that it's such good structure so here's the full look with a pair of white pumps very uncomfortable white pumps but they're such a look that you know you suck it up and snake pick snake print bag and then the hair just brought it down still has the waves a little bit and these earrings these are from beauty galore i always buy my earrings from them they're like the best selection ever ever honey mm. okay like it was so hot outside what all right i don't know why am i yelling i'm so sorry why am i yelling am i doing another outfit yeah let me just do another outfit okay second outfit this is one of the t-shirts from mama rocks cute and these pants um, was sent to me a while back from an Instagram page here in Kenya. It's called Rencia's Jazzy Boutique. Thank you. Very cute. Faux leather um, pants. And I'm going to be wearing them with these white heels or black and white heels. These are from El Aza Boutique. Aren't these so cute? so cute so with this full outfit and these earrings from I actually bought these in South Africa these are from Jan is big and then this bag from forever trendy so this is the full outfit cute I'm just literally taking these pictures for Instagram I will be wearing this outfit eventually it's just um, I want to push as many brands as possible so it is what it is okay so let me go take this hi I am working in my bedroom today it is an absolute mess don't judge me but that's because weird things are happening in my house hold on let me show you no, no. everybody say hi, hi. <laughs> so so that's what's happening. <laughs> you were actually recording. Yes, I was recording. Oh. Anyway, so that's what's happening in my house. Uh, if you do not know, Pieces of Us, it's a show on NTV. It shoots a few of their scenes in an uh, apartment. Talking to the first light of dawn. Just like fate without no warning. Okay, just finished up with a Zoom meeting. Workout done. Now, I really want to declutter my closet. I was going to push it till tomorrow. I need to stop doing that. So let me just get it over and done with now. Like now. I need to grab a suitcase.
So this is my dress closet. I swear I declutter every five months. I just keep accumulating stuff. So my goal is to get rid of everything that I've not worn in a very long time, keeping the things that I've not worn. And yes, there's so many things I have not worn yet because I never see them. And each hanger has like two to three dresses. I also have gowns that I keep buying off of Instagram because I'm like, oh, cute. You never know when I'm going to be in a James Bond movie. Why? Like, this is a black gown. This is a sequined gown. <laughs> this is another sequined gown. Like, this is heavy, but this isn't sexy because it's completely sheer on the side. I'm going to wear it somewhere. I don't know where it is. I just have gowns on top of gowns on top of gowns. Why? Why do I have gowns? Girl, you are not royalty. Just kidding, I am. In my soul. This is my Jackie K dress. I got it from Toy Market for I think like 30 bob. Still worth it. Staying. Um, I'm keeping it just because I don't know. I got this dress for one of my friend's weddings. It's a very uncomfortable dress because of all the sequins and all the glitter. But it was really expensive. <laughs> That's literally the only reason I'm keeping it. It was... I paid way more than it's worth. Like, way more. Slip dresses. One in leather. Keeping it because you never know. This one, though, it was a stupid buy. Such a stupid buy. I think I bought it at, like, midnight on Instagram. Such a stupid buy. Okay, that's a pile of all the dresses I'm getting rid of. It is now officially less cluttered. And I only have one thing down here. Progress. I still need to go up there. But before, I'm going to clean the pants section out. Each hanger has like four pair of pants. And each, like, it's just, it is ridiculous in here. Oh, and there's also that mess. And up there. Oh, God. Ooh, good morning. It is day two of me cleaning out my closet. Well, it's just morning, so I need to do my morning stuff. Working out, eating breakfast, drinking my morning concoction thing. Ooh. So, my cousin usually adds turmeric in hers. Never have I ever, but we can try today and see how we feel about it. <sighs> Alright. Let's see how I feel about it. I have no idea what the hell that reaction was. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> I don't hate it. I'm good with it. I can do it. I can test it out. See how my body feels about this. The workout done. I hope this doesn't show. Hold on. Let me stand up real quick. Okay, we're fine. We're, uh, I'll just stay forward. I'm wearing a white tank top and no bra. If you're a girl, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm about to do a mask on my face and also some hair removal. Where the hell's my hair removal stuff? Okay, I found it. So, when it comes to hair removal, I am a firm believer of waxing and hair removal creams. I don't like shaving any part of my body. I wax or I beat my legs like maybe every seven months because the hair is just so, just not there, but there. Um, on my vagina though, I do wax it every three weeks just because that's how I prefer to do my waxing and it hurts less. And I'm used to it now, so it's just, I prefer that routine. And then my armpits, 
I use hair removal cream and this is Beats. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Someday! Some to some to tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I don't know the words. Someday! I hope there's somebody who's coming to deliver something, and I hope to God he does not show up right now. Because this is how he's gonna get me. So you just keep this on for seven minutes and then you wipe off and then you got some hairless armpits. Kinky. Sexy. Okay, armpits are done. Can we raise the roof? Whoop whoop. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> um, next, I just wanna mask my phases. And y'all know my Garnier 3 and one charcoal mask. It's my jams. It's the jams is of the jams and I am a jam. I don't know what's happening with me right now. Also, today we're making cookies, so I'm gonna end this vlog with a cookie recipe. Um, some people have been asking me to do more healthy food <laughs> videos, and the reason why I'm really not doing like I already like I tried with the what I eat in a day. Yo, lighting. Courtney, what's up? I tried with the what I eat in a day video, like that was healthy food, and like that was me trying to shoot that, and I did it. So there's that video. Um, the reason why most of my other recipe stuff are like naughty foods is because I love naughty food, and it's so much more fun shooting kinky, you know, food that's like in butter, deep fried cakes. It's just more fun. For me to shoot and for me to even edit and for me to watch and the whole bit because i even think about all the times that i watch food videos and i watch a lot of food videos like it's almost embarrassing how many food videos i watch on a weekly basis like one of my favorite channels is binging with babish he is a wind beneath my wings and I love his videos. So for me, I don't like watching people make healthy food. Like, I want to watch you deep fry cheese inside of butter, stuff it into a chicken, deep fry that, and then put it into two slices of bread, bake that off before you deep fry it again. Like, that's the stuff that I like to watch. So that's why I mainly just show kinky food because healthy food you can google so many recipes for that literally just type in whatever you have in your fridge and then you know put a plus sign and then write healthy and then they'll show you like a million different recipes on what you can make with what you have in your house i'm just saying yeah so that's why we're gonna make some cookies some cookies some cookies you can't tell but i'm twerking for them cookies Okay, so I'm about to go start reorganizing the rest of my closets, which I feel like it's gonna take me at least four hours, three hours, no, just three hours. <sighs> Not looking forward to it, but skin looks good. All right, next thing, this is from Beauty Galore. So these are the guys who I always get my um, costume jewelry from. I'm into custom jewelry. I like big old earrings with big old fake diamonds on them that are ridiculous. Like that's my jam. That's my ish knit. So I always order my jewelry from them. And because I order a lot, we usually just have a system where every time I see something, I just like throw that picture in her DMs and I'm like, mine, mine, mine. And she always just throws it in the bag. And then when it gets to like a certain amount, like usually like 5k. I'm like, okay, now I'm ready for you guys to ship it on down. Um, so, I had bought a couple of things from them. Um, first thing that I'm actually really excited about, I my jewelry collection is becoming a little bit too overwhelming, so I really needed to find a way to organize it and in a way where I can see it. Because I don't like jewelry boxes just because I can't, like I need to be able to visually see my stuff. So I got this from her. I think it was like 1500 or 1900 One of those two prices. Can't remember. But yay! Now I can hang up all of my necklaces. I can put up like my favorite earrings. And they can just sit here. 
I can hang up more stuff here, probably more necklaces. Very excited, and I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put it within my office. Oh, this is a stand. I thought this was a hanging thing. It can just sit on my desk. Yay! What? I'm actually really excited about that. Okay, jewelry, 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 honey, yes, yes. So I really wanted to get these lion ones. I just love gold. I love gold. Oh, I bought these. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I'll put the information down below for you guys. Look at this, I can hang all of my, like all of the, let me show you, you guys, let me show you with an earring. I'm so excited. Oh. I don't think you understand. When you get to a certain age, things that just help you organize your life better make you so genuinely happy. Like, I don't think you understand how happy I am right now. And voila. And voila. I'll put all the information down below. Isn't this so cute though? Isn't this so cute? Ah, uh, hi. <sighs> We're now on level two. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. We're now on level two of the closet cleanup. So, I wanted to catch up with you guys as I do this. Oh, cute top. I bought this on Instagram. I've been thinking of doing a how to shop thrift on Instagram because um, I think it's a really great way to shop. If you're too lazy to go to get combine and things like that, you just shop online, it comes to your house and I have specific pages that I purchase from. There's a crop top that I got like a year ago. Still have never worn it, but I love it. <laughs> So I've been thinking of doing a video about how to shop on Instagram and how to shop thrift. So I was going to do a combination of both shopping on Instagram and also and actually going to Gekomba or Toy Market. Um, so let me know if that is a video that you guys would be interested in. I'm still going to do it. I just, I just like it. I love shopping and buying things super cheap. Like when I buy something incredibly cheap, I'm so proud to say how, like how, like I'm just like, so this dress. I bought it for 30 bob. But if I buy something expensive, I'm just like, it's expensive. I don't want to talk about it. I'm so proud of, like, I'm so proud of being cheap. It's, it's, it's kind of sad. Anyways, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey. Number one, what is my goal? My goal, I've actually already reached my goal. My goal was to be 68 kgs. I'm 69. It's just like a 1 kg difference. So I really could care less about the numbers. Um, I just wanted to get back to my old size. I did not enjoy being a size 14 because even my size 12 clothing was not fitting me. My size 10 was completely like a rumor. So I just wanted to get back to that. And I'm back to that. And I'm happy. Um, I don't want to get smaller because I like being thick. I like being like just I, I love being voluptuous I feel sexy when like you know my thighs are thick and my ass is fat that's that's me it's not for everybody I get that but that's what rocks my world I enjoy being thick little thickums um number two I want to stay this size because I'm not buying new clothes all of my clothes have been accumulated over a long period of time. I like certain pieces. Certain pieces are just like amazing. I'm not buying new clothes, so I'm not gonna go down to a size eight. It's like, oh, also for uh, job security. Some of you guys may not know this, but I sometimes side hustle doing modeling gigs. And usually I'm hired because of the way I look. Well, um, I'm always hired because it's, it's they're literally paying you because of the way you look. So it's because of the way I look. And there are 5,558 million black girls who are bald and skinny and very few of us who are bald and thick or fewer of us. So job security, I'm here for the money. <laughs> so, <clears throat> What are my actual body goals? My body goals right now is like human wise, I would have to say Meg the Stallion because she's thick and strong and that girl can twerk have you ever just tried twerking on your knees like this it's not easy it is hard you start getting tired real quick so 
that is my goal or jocelyn hernandez from um love and hip-hop atlanta don't get me wrong she's had some very crazy moments i am not approving what she has done in the past that's not the point of this her body though just thick and strong like that's what i like like thick and strong it's my jam it's my jazz i've been asked to do a video on my workout routine and i'm really hesitant on doing that because i don't feel like i've been doing this long enough to do a video on that at all i've only been working out for what like almost four months now it's not i'm not i'm not like i feel like maybe if i do this for two years then i can be like okay i'm ready to do a workout video i'm not like I'm very I'm still very new at this I'm still picking things up I'm still learning for example I no longer jog uh, if you remember my fitness video I talked about how I do some jogging around the neighborhood and stuff like that I completely stopped jogging because my knees started giving me issues and I thought it had everything to do with like my weights and I know in the beginning I was really struggling with my um, body positions when it comes to certain workouts and I've been working on those so when my knees were hurting I just assumed it was that so I decided to like chill out on the weights and my knees kept on hurting and then I googled some stuff and then people were mentioning how like not everybody's meant to run or jog and things like that and I discovered that I'm also not one of those people and as soon as I stopped jogging around the neighborhood my knees stopped hurting completely so when it comes to cardio instead of jogging what i do is i walk around the neighborhood and when i get to where my block is i run all the way up to the fifth floor and then i run back down and then i walk around run up run back down that doesn't hurt my knees but just pavement stomping hurts my knees so that's why i don't want to do a video because i'm still figuring stuff out i don't know what the hell i'm doing um every day is an adventure with me and for me when it comes to working out i discover new things all the time <laughs> so i think that's it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna finish with these drawers and down here from this cabinet and up there because it's just a lot and then we'll make cookies maybe oh we'll do something else i don't know yet okay we'll see Sorry if I cross the line. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen as I was cleaning out my closet. I have a freaking faux leather cat suit, like full on cat suit. And the zit, like what in the BDSM was going on? Like it zips all the, like, it's staying in the key pile though, cause you never know when that's gonna be useful. I don't know. I don't be knowing these things. Okay. It is the next day, water's boiling in a different room, don't ask me why. <laughs> so, I was way too tired yesterday after cleaning the bedroom, drawers, like I cleaned all of them. Oh, let me show you everything that I... <laughs> so this is just from the bedroom closets, like it is filled, Ugh. ow, my toe to the brim and I still have the other room to go and get done so yay progress before we do the cookies I forgot to show you my earrings I arranged them on the racks that were sent to me by beauty galore these are all my earrings I need to find the rest I keep losing them but I don't think you understand how this is so incredibly helpful because I usually just throw them in this box I end up losing like I can't find this earring I can't find this other one this one Oh, one of my favorite earrings i broke one of them yeah this one i don't have this part anymore so i'm just happy that now i have somewhere to just hang them to keep them safe and here are the closets that i did way more organized nothing hanging out down here drawers are perfect these are just t-shirts i got rid of so many t-shirts um and crop tops only and then these are my pants. Again, nothing down here. Very proud. Only sweaters. Got rid of a bunch of sweaters. And then up here, I just have my sweatsuits. Denim. 
guys like honestly i don't know why i always feel like i don't own jeans i own a few <laughs> <laughs> oh, quite a few jeans. I don't know why I never show you. Like, I never wear jeans. Okay, so I've put these over here so I can remind myself to freaking wear jeans. Okay, let's make the cookies. Currently, right now, I'm just melting butter and I am basically cooking it into a brown butter. Um, so sometimes you'll see a lot of baking recipes where they say brown butter. It's not a specific type of butter. It's literally just butter that has been cooked until it's brown okay so I'm just trying to separate my wet and my dry um, I've already put in here one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour now I am doing half a teaspoon of baking soda now in a separate dish I'm gonna put one cup of brown sugar I prefer brown sugar versus regular sugar even though in Kenya our sugar our regular sugar is pretty brown but the brown is always better so I'm just gonna put it in an empty container because this is where I'm gonna be mixing everything all right so slightly warm uh, brown butter this is about 10 tablespoons then we're gonna mix it in well okay one egg And this is why the butter needs to also be slightly cooled. If you put in hot butter, it's basically going to cook the eggs and make scrambled eggs. And that's not cute. That's not the vibe that we're going for. And also because most peanut butters have salt in them, you don't really need to add salt in this. But if you feel like it, please go ahead. But make sure that you put it in your dry ingredients. So just a pinch of salt. So now we're going to put two-thirds of a cup of peanut butter now some vanilla essence I prefer extract but we can't find it in Kenya by the way if anybody knows where I can find either vanilla bean or vanilla extract not essence Please put in the comment section like I'm being very serious. It's legit an issue <laughs> in this country Okay Now I will well mix dry ingredients which, which was just the flour Baking soda and a little bit of salt Goes into this and I like to do it in batches just because it's easier to incorporate and mix well Oh, also forgot, preheat your oven at 190 Celsius. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is my cookie dough. This will make around 12-ish cookies, give or take. So, to get good cookies, do not ever put them on foil or on just the tray itself. Get par parchment paper, this is for baking. Perfect. And I like to use an ice cream scoop just so it helps me make sure that I have same size cookies with each. So I just roll them up into a ball, giving enough space for each cookie. Just press it down. Once that way, once the other way. Love me too. I just stick them in the oven for about 8 to 12 minutes depending on how hot your oven gets Okay, cookies are done So here are the beauties Let me Let me be extra Some people like to sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of the cookie, but I already put some inside the cookie, plus the peanut butter. I don't think it needs any more, but, you know, live your life. They're your cookies. Live it. And as we let them cool, I'm just going to taste the first batch. 
and I'm doing this before working out. I'm living my best life. Okay. So here is the peanut butter cookie. Look at her. She's a beaut. It's soft, it's fluffy. I like my cookies to be soft. I don't like crunchy cookies. Otherwise, you're just eating a biscuit. I don't like biscuits. And then she turned the biscuit into a pie crust. Then I like biscuits. Mm. Let's look at that cross section. Mmm. It's so soft. So this recipe is great if you have kids. Very simple. The prep, everything takes less than 30 minutes. If you guys want a more complicated cookie recipe, let me know. There's a, like a two-day cookie recipe that I've made before. It's amazing. It's just a pain in the ass to make. But I'll do it for a video. So... I'm gonna cut to like a pan of these cookies and all that as I go work out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Now we're panning to cookies. Try to tell what you were thinking, what you might feel for.